Hi everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook video and welcome to the first layout for, I believe it's season nine, I want to say, of Spend Less, Scrap More. I um, am pleasantly surprised with how all of the layouts came out with this collection. Um, I will tell you, first of all, um, I mentioned in the intro video that I am going on a spending freeze this year. Well, that is due to my middle child is possibly going to college this fall, and so I pretty much don't have a choice. <laughs> um, this everything that I that you see that's new, pretty much other than the new Doodlebug collection, I which I actually with that one I only got a little few bits and pieces of as well but um, I bought everything before January I have purchased very little since the beginning of the new year and most of it was essential stuff if I did buy anything at all I don't really even remember anything so um, uh, yeah it's gonna be a different year but I am happy to use some stuff up I have been keeping an eye out like I mentioned for different collections I could use for spend less, scrap more, and to be honest, I really haven't found anything that I'm super happy with yet. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to keep this series going. I, I was actually kind of surprised when I went to look what season number it should be, and the last time I did one of these was like eight months ago, and wow, I was kind of surprised by that, because I really do enjoy this series, and I know a lot of you do as well. I um, just want to throw this out there. You might see that I'm adding wet glue to these layers. Um, main reason I'm doing that is because I don't really care for that glue and I want to get it used up because I bought it. It was not very expensive. It was only like $2 for that bottle. It was just something to try. You know, it never hurts to try a new things. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just, I'm not, it's not that I don't like the glue. It is not as forgiving as the, um, what is this called? The art glitter glue. The art glitter glue has fast become my favorite. I love the Nubo glue that I've used in the past, but I think I just like the tip of the art glitter, glitter glue. This tip is too big and it's not as forgiving. You know, when you get the art glitter glue on your paper, you can kind of, you have a little bit of time to kind of wipe it away and you never really notice. This one, not as much. So I thought, hey, the other reason is because one of the things I have already done this year is I've put all of my layouts away into albums and I've changed it to, I used to put them by year in iris containers before they go in the albums and I got rid of those iris containers and I said nope they're going to go in the stack and when the stack is full I am going to put them in the albums because otherwise they just sit there um, and doing that I noticed again I think it just must be my area or something like that but there is some layouts that are falling apart and I don't know which glue it is that I'm using when it does that but I thought hey it can't hurt to add a little bit of glue especially since I want to get that glue used up. Now I'll talk about this layout a little bit. I do believe I am following a sketch by Scrapbook Generation. I quite often do. Uh, here's a little tip for you. You can see where I put that tree sticker down. Uh, I am going to be done scrapbooking for the day here in a moment. Um, I kind of just I think it was dinner time or I wasn't feeling it. I don't know, something like that. But I totally forgot that I left that tree on there and I was not about to try to pull those trees back up, which it it's okay because I actually really like, I think I had planned on leaving them there because I liked them so much there, but <laughs> that's just one trick. If you're going to leave your scrapbooking, make sure you don't leave a sticker stuck to your page while you go away. <laughs> um, now here I am back for whenever it was. Um, I'm slowly getting back in my room. I've had a few of you reach out to me and say, hey, where's the videos? Um, I did contemplate not doing the videos anymore. I think that I'm just kind of, like a lot of you, fed up with all the restrictions and stuff. Um, I live in a state that is very hardcore with their restrictions, like one of the most strict states, and it's taken its toll on me quite a bit. And I literally just, I was not in my room for a good month or so, which usually, you know, even if I don't make a video, usually I'm at least in here at some point. 
Uh, and I told my husband, I thought about quitting the channel. I didn't really want to, but I just had no mojo. Um, but I talked to Nicole Coley Bling. You guys probably know her here on YouTube. I probably said that wrong, but um, we were kind of chatting and she mentioned getting out the six by six paper pad sketches that Allison Davis did that I never followed along. So I did get that out and that's kind of getting me back in the groove and I'm kind of enjoying that. I did another layout, which I will talk about as well. Um, and yeah, it's not my favorite layout, but hey, I did it. Uh, I'm still kind of debating whether or not I'll actually do a video about it, but um, yeah, anyways, I just thought, but I have been doing other things such as, you know, like I mentioned, I put all of my layouts into albums. That was nice. The only ones that are not currently in albums are the ones that I've done since I've put them all away. I have also labeled all my albums, so they all have a label minus one, which I need to make because I had to order one. Um, yeah, the other thing is uh, this spring is going to be a lot of, I am going to be busy with a lot of graduation stuff and different things like that and visiting colleges, and this is all new territory for me. Um, my daughter opted not to go to college, which was totally fine. Uh, I just, so we are in territory, I don't know. <laughs> and it's a lot, you, you know, you don't think, of, I think because last year everything was closed, it kind of made everything like, oh my gosh, we got to get all this done now. So um, it's, it's a lot, but it's exciting. It's fun. Um, yeah, this layout, back to the layout, I, I really, there's not a whole lot of things that I did to it. It's a fairly simple layout. Um, you can see what all the stuff I've added. I do come back here in just a moment. I came back and added this. I don't know if I show all of it, but I did want to add some kind of more, something a little more to the layout. So I added some texture paste and I believe that this is the snowdrop white, um, paper glaze, which I love this paper glaze. Uh, and I'm going to use the snow stencil and I'm going to kind of just go around each little cluster. And then the very last thing I do, which I don't do it on the screen, is I do add some splatters. I will talk about that in the recap video a little bit more. So if you want to learn more about that, um, you know, check out the recap video. But I really like the little bit of added effect that this snow adds. And you can see me adding it on here. It's very, very subtle. And you can see it in the still shot photos. So um, in case you are interested more in that. I, I'm super happy I added this on here. So that is pretty much my first layout. You can see I didn't really use a whole lot of paper. So wait to see what's coming up with the next layouts if you are interested. Um, yeah, there's the snowdrop white up close and there's that cute little snowman. I'm so glad I did not find any snowman pictures though. So there won't be any snowman, but I'm happy with what I did with this collection anyway. So thanks for watching, everyone. I shall see you next time, and let me know what you think of the layout. All right, have a good day.